help, the Philippines is holding me for ransom. Am I ever going to get back to the United States? Class is in session. Today I'm going to pass along a lesson to you that I have learned the hard way. As you know, my channel is called Escape to the Philippines. Well, today I'm here to tell you how difficult it appears to be to escape from the Philippines. Here's a little background. I have been living in the Philippines as a retired expat for almost 17 months. Overall, it's been a wonderful experience, or else I would not have stayed more than a month or two. But I always knew that I would go back to the United States one last time for my 50-year high school class reunion. Yes, I am old, but I'm sure you already figured that out. Well, let me tell you, it's a lot easier to enter the Philippines than it is to leave it. Anyway, when you have stayed on a tourist visa in the Philippines for six months or more, you are required to obtain an immigration clearance certificate, commonly known as an exit clearance. A foreign national may apply for an ECC at least 72 hours prior to leaving the country, and it is valid for one month for a single use. There are two types of exit clearances. As a resident still classified as a tourist, I'm required to get the ECCA version. Here are the requirements to obtain that type of exit clearance according to the U.S. Embassy of the Philippines website. Number one, submit the proper form. Number two, provide three passport size photographs. Number three, pay the fees. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, not exactly. First of all, I found the application form online, downloaded it, and filled it out ahead of time. I also got my photograph taken at a little studio in the local mall, obtaining not three, but six copies in the smallest package that they had available. My online research also taught me that I needed to photocopy the bio page of my passport and the stamp of the latest admission to the country. I needed also to provide a copy of the front and back of my alien certificate of registration card, as well as the proof of my most recent visa extension of stay. Although you can learn a lot with online research, don't trust everything you read on the internet. When I got to the Bureau of Immigration, I was told that the form, although asking for all the same information was outdated and had to be redone. Five photographs, not three, were required to be glued onto the various forms as well. I also learned that, contrary to what I had read online, the Bureau wanted photocopied evidence of all of the extensions of stay. So I had to go back to the photocopy room to provide that material. Already that day, I had my biometrics taken, fingerprints, and mugshot to make sure I've been a good boy these past 17 months. Then, I paid a 500 peso express lane fee. That's about 10 US dollars, my ransom for the day. I also read online that the exit clearance fee itself cost 710 pesos, about 14 US dollars but I was not charged that either on my day of application or three days later when I was finally allowed to pick up my processed exit clearance. In all, I made three trips to immigration, each costing me taxi fare. On my first trip, I arrived shortly after noon, only to discover they closed the office after a half day of work to celebrate the anniversary of the Bureau's founding 
My costs were beginning to mount, and I am not yet out of the country. I feel especially sorry for those who make their pilgrimage to immigration from a lot farther away than I did and must spend a couple of nights in a manila hotel while the paperwork is being processed. I'll let you know what happens, but I'll tell you, by the time I left the Bureau of Immigration Office for the third time, I had the lyrics of that old Eagles song, Hotel California, running through my head. You know the words. You can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. So class, if you're going to be going to the Bureau of Immigration, do your research and complete your homework. You don't want to fail this as an assignment. Class is dismissed. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and above all, subscribe. Thank you.